Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about Pentex Total Station. This is Pentex R1505 and Total Station having reflectorless features of 500 meter range and 4000 meter on prism mode. Uh, this has got SD card option for data transfer or can be transferred transfer using RS232, mini USB, Bluetooth as well. Uh, this has got dual battery system for uh, longer time use this features is called hot swappable batteries you can see two batteries can be inserted at a time okay now this model has laser plummet option and laser light is clearly visible it has plate bubble on upper axis and circular bubble on lower plate you can see it here now let's power on the device model detail is displayed here and can see graphical electronic bubble on the screen okay, you can see option of tilt laser point and plummet adjustment for adjusting plummet laser light okay you can see the laser light is clearly visible okay here is a physical button for direct access to plummet okay if pressed it escapes and can be get in by pressing it again okay this button is for screen light and it can be power on and off you can see the change now let's get into main menu here you can see the details of horizontal angle vertical angle slope distance and vertical distance okay now the below displayed point is controlled by a physical button at the same to above icon like f1 reverse to measure one f2 to target f3 to zero set now if i press zero set you can see uh, zero degree is displayed under horizontal Okay, F4 is for special function. Okay, let's get back. And mode is for changing option. Okay, you can see now option is changed. Now if I press display F1, then display icon are changed on the screen. Okay, you can see it's based as different display option. Okay, now let's let me get back to normal mode. Now let's get into a special function. This is the main page where sort we, we will be doing survey and record all our data. You can see each icon details on the top for each icon. I am moving my cursor over all menu. Okay, every details are shown on top right. Okay, now for creating file, we need to go to file. Okay. You can see the list of created file here and above F5 button. You can see create option. Now I'll create my new job as I'll name it as P. Okay, you can see the name P. Okay, now you can see all the memory information of that point of that job. Now I'll escape and go to station. Okay, there I'll go to rectangular coordinate and input all my required station point okay now instrument height is x to input okay i'll put it at it and then uh, nothing string elevation is to be inputted okay now i'll put it no uh, nothing as 1500 uh, string as 1200 uh, this is uh, just a random data uh, in the field you will uh, put as per your uh, provided data or by using GPS okay now point number I'll put it as point number one PC refers to point code I'll keep it as e station okay now I'll go to save and save the station data now uh, backside details is shown uh, there are two options either by going through angle or by backside point inputting coordinate I'll go to backside point okay there again and is it is displayed i need to input uh, coordinate of backside point i'll uh, input nothing as 12105 okay this thing as 1500 and elevation as 1000 okay uh, station coordinate and backside coordinate will be provided uh, to you on the field or you need to go through using GPS okay now I'll put prism point code as a backside let me put it as a BM 
okay now after it's finished i'll go to save and save this uh, point id okay now it's asking me whether my point is targeted or not okay i'll press okay now my station setup is completed now i'll get back to uh, measurement option okay now i'll go to uh, point number five okay there is there is measure option i'll go to measure and i'll go to rectangular coordinate okay i need to measure rectangular coordinate okay you can see measurement page there uh, different options are so i'll describe you briefly okay i'll change target to reflected less mode okay now i'll press measure okay it's measuring okay now my coordinate is shown at my required point measurement okay you can see now i'll go to save and save this point okay now my point three changes to point four now if i again press measure okay now coordinate is displayed if i want to edit any prism height or prism, uh, point code i'll go to edit and then uh, put prism height or and uh, point code i'll keep point code as pole okay okay now my and i'll save this data okay now i'll again my point changes to point number five now if i press measure and save directly now my point will be measured and saved automatically okay if you didn't want to change a uh, point uh, prism height and code you can directly go to measure and save okay now if i want to change prism height i can go through here okay now my prism height is zero zero now i'll measure and save you can see i'll measure by this way you can uh, measure and save or you can directly measure and save automatically as per your requirement now we will be going to stake out or layout you, know, you can go through uh, program okay there you can first we need to set station detail okay now i'm taking a reference from my last setup station I'll put as point name as point number as one. Okay, T one. Uh, let it be. Okay, now my station setup is completed. Now I'll go to stake out. You can see under number six there is stake out option. If you go to stake out, now I'll go to point number three on stake out. And okay, now our prism height is asked since i'm doing it prismless i'll keep it at zero now uh, we need to input the coordinate uh, we need to find on field okay now i'll put some coordinate as nothing as 1500 string as 1500 sorry 1245 okay now i'll i'll search this point on field okay it asks me to go uh, 44 degree on a uh, counterclockwise direction okay now let me turn on slowly you can see my angle is changed okay slowly and slowly i'll we need to bring it to zero degree and then only we'll go for distance you can see distance i need to go 45 uh, meter on that point okay now once i'll bring angle to tentative zero okay you can see okay my angle is okay now now on on this alignment i'll go 45 degree uh, ahead uh, i'll go using my pacing okay now and then i'll measure distance you can see since my target is very near it asks me to go 45 44 meter is still ahead from that point okay by this way you can go to uh, a fixed point and target that point okay if you uh, go ahead and measure you can it shows you the difference from that point 
okay likewise you can do for stake out as well okay now again let me find another point i'll go to stake out and then uh, input my required coordinate okay this coordinate would be provided by a uh, client to us to find it on field uh, you will be given two coordinate of station and backside and with that reference you need to find other required point okay i am inputting northing easting and elevation okay now let me uh, input point number it will be random i'll keep it as p12 okay oh, now I'll, point code is uh, i'll left it as it is okay now i'll go to enter okay now you can see uh, i need to turn 178 degree clockwise direction okay i'll show you from the other side okay now my angle is on zero degree now i need to bring minute and second to zero degree as well okay uh, once the angle is uh, around 10 minute range you can uh, tight horizontal clamp and using slow motion screw you can bring to uh, tentative zero that would be easy for you okay once my angle is to tentative zero now i'll go uh, to the required distance okay now in my context is 41 so okay now i'll press measure and still you can see i need to go 40 meter ahead mm. now again i'll go 40 meter ahead from that point uh, using my pacing and then i'll again measure okay, you can see i need to go still 23 meter from this point okay now it's still 28 meter uh, by this way you can uh, go ahead or you need to come near it will show you details okay by this way uh, you can uh, survey and lay out through this pentex total station i hope this video help you out to, to surveying and stake out uh, using this pentex total station you can see now data can be imported and exported from IO option import out uh, in out option okay I have shown you on that on other video okay thank you for watching